Welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Earlier in the season, the Golden State Warriors ended up losing their last game in this matchup against the Pelicans. So a strong 2-1 start here, but a little bit of a slip up losing that last one. So they'll try to focus on what went wrong and try to pull off the third win of the season series. And you don't need to dig too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost the game. I mean, their shooting percentage was abysmal. You know, sometimes we talk about the defense getting into the heads of the opposing players, but it seemed that night they got in their own heads, couldn't get out of their own way as they lost confidence at the offensive end. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. On the wing, Thompson and Ibu It's Lee and Bogut inside, and it's Curry in at the point guard. Now Thompson. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. Lee a screen on Gordon. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Offline with his three. And it's the Pelicans with the ball, fresh from a win against Portland. And if you look at their numbers in that game, what jumps out most is the balance offensively. They really spread the well. And they were on fire in all areas. That was a very satisfying road win. Here's Curry, following the basket by Anthony Davis. Lee sends a screen for Curry. And a wide open look for Lee. Can't capitalize on the good screen. You look at how efficient David Lee is around the basket. Can go over either shoulder and use either hand to score. Broke his wrist in high school, and it's part of the reason why he's been able to develop that offhand so well. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Bogut with a screen on Holiday. Curry dishes to Lee. It's stolen by Davis. Now here's Evans, averaging 12 points a game. Here's Z. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Now the feed to Iguodala. Back to Curry. Four on the clock. Goes up from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Z. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Unloads from 13. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Z's got his second basket of the night. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Here's Bogut, hits the jump hook. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside Holiday. Gordon, the pass to Holiday. He dishes it to Evans. Davis kicks to Evans. Four on the clock. Fires from 14. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Warriors trail by four. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Golden State's head coach and I were able to chat. Going into this game and scouting the opposition, he told me he's a huge fan of Drew Holiday, saying, you know, Drew's still a guy with so much potential. You just don't see that many point guards with his kind of frame. Six foot four, close to two bills, and a great skill set to match. He's a guy you love to watch, but you often hate to go up against. Kevin, we'll see if he can have a big impact in this one. And as always, Doris, thank you. Here's Holiday. After the made shot from Clay Thompson, Davis setting the pick for Holiday. On the wing, Evans. And the rebound goes to David Lee. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Curry dishes to Bogut. Can't connect from short range. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick, just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball furious. The guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. The Warriors making it. Green's checked in. And let's go to our leaderboard. Instant offense is the specialty of these guys. The highest scoring shooting guards of the past month. Take a look at Thompson. Second in the league, having an excellent season. 
And this is the cream of the crop at the two-guard spot, strictly in terms of scoring ability and the ease with which these guys break down opposing defenses. I love that they are so attack-minded and come at you really aggressively across the board. They're players that can carry a team offensively for long stretches of a game. And the shot is good. Well, the drive to the bucket was nice, but how about the finger roll finish? Beautiful. Well, you look at how the Warriors have improved. Really a change in philosophy from years past. The new ownership wanted size for position and rebounding, defense, toughness. It really established a nice foundation. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Davis. Anderson comes in for Tyreek Evans. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Gordon. And it's Jimmer Fredette in for Drew Holiday. Then for the Warriors, Azili's checked in for Bogut. Spates comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Now here's Rivers. Right now averaging seven points a game. And the first big move towards that size and defense for the Warriors was the trade of Monte Ellis for Andrew Bogut. And like many trades, it was questioned initially, but Bogut has brought that toughness and his very defensive presence to this team so desperately lacked. And the wins have really validated the Warriors' new trade. And so Thompson nails both of them. People knew that he could shoot the ball coming out of college, but I don't think teams knew that Clay Thompson would develop into the dead-eye shooter that he's become. He is a flat-out laser. And he can go to get into zones where he just doesn't miss whether he's open or well-guarded. Here is Livingston after Jimmer Fredette's basket. Livingston passes to Green. There's the pick. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. A picture-perfect screenplay and the jumper's good. Very well-executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. And Steve with Clay, you know not every team thought of him as an elite shooter, or he wouldn't have gone as late as he did in the draft. But with his size, he has incredible range, and that has proved to be a factor in his play. Yeah, and one thing he's been able to do this last season is find ways to quicken that release. And now he can get that three off in the blink of an eye. He's a big, strong kid, and doesn't need much room at all to let it fly. So what an incredible weapon to have on offense. <laughs> Warriors trail by six. One fourteen left in the first quarter. Here is Livingston. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Green kicks to Thompson. Here's Spates. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Out of bounds. Still Golden State ball. It's Thompson off the drive, and at last they get one to fall. Boy, you can't run an inbounds play any better than that right there. Pelicans leading by four. There's a good screen. Fredette, the pass to Z. Down low, and stolen by Spates. Here's Green. Ball's not loose. Pass to Azili. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Livingston kicks to Thompson. Again, the miss by Thompson. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Rivers can't get it to go. This is why you need size inside, the ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Just three on the clock. Anderson misses the layup. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The end of going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated and ready to get going again as well. And what stands out to you from the Pelicans in this one? Yeah, the defense has been terrific. They came out right from the beginning, alert and focused, and they've been really good at that end of the floor. And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. Backcourt, Holiday and Gordon. 
Evans and Davis are your small and power forwards. And it's Z at the five. That's the Pelicans five. No good from Bogut. It's stolen by Bogut. Again, the miss by Bogut. Defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, Z in the last match against the Trail Blazers delivered quite a performance. He ended with 28 points and came out of nowhere defensively, swatting away one shot after another. Numbers like that are rare to see by any player in a game he'll always remember. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Lee is screen on Holiday. Curry dishes to Lee to the right side. Livingston kicks to Curry. Shot clock at six. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. I think that's what's put them in front here. Now here's Gordon. Holiday left side to the middle. It's tipped. Outside Curry. The pass to Bogut. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And it's six points for Andrew Bogut. Last outing for Golden State, it was a loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Well, they were lucky it wasn't a blowout because they didn't put forth a very strong performance in that one. Yeah, they just couldn't find anything to work for them, Steve. No matter what approach they used, it was futile. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andrew Bogut. Vitor Favorati is checked in for... That's the way to pound the boards! Is checked in. We've got 108 left in the first half of the game. Gordon, the pass to Z. And the Pelicans miss again. Warriors trail by 16. Spades with a screen on Rivers. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Hands it from downtown. Thompson's got 11 points. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Terrific awareness among this collection of centers. The big men averaging the most assists per contest over the previous 10 games. Well, you look at Z, an uncommonly gifted passer, leading the league in assists. I don't care what level you're talking about, high school, college, the pros, when you have the combination of size and passing skill that he does, what a huge advantage. And more than anything, I like the fact he's a master of the um, kickout pass. He's got a great awareness when one of his teammates gets open on the perimeter and he's a willing passer in that situation here is Livingston we've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock pass to Green Thompson outside clock at six another three for Golden State he's such a well-rounded offensive player he's got a little bit of everything now here's Rivers leading by 12 Passes it to Z. D2 from Anderson. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so that... Well, a double-double already in the books for you, and we're only at the half. Do you see them trying to throw different looks at you to slow you down? Well, I mean, I guess that's a question... Okay, fellas, nice job sticking to the plan in the first half. Now let's widen the gap. For the second half, big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. What a game we're seeing from Z. How about this, a double-double already. I mean, this is the sort of energy performance uh, that just pumps life into your whole team. You know, 
the way he's impacted the game in so many different ways, it's been fun to watch and really going to be hard to slow him down. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. It's Lee and Bogut inside. Aaron Gordon. And the second free throw, good. Warriors trail by 13. Outside Curry. At the top of the key, Iguodala. Back to Curry. Just five on the clock. Floats one up, and that one's good. Curry's got his first basket. Pelicans leading by 11. Well, as you know, there are polls for just about everything in sports. Last year, Steph Curry was actually voted as the most trustworthy player in the league. And the Pelicans with possession here. At one point, they led by 16. And Thompson kicks the lead. And another basket for Golden State. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. See the pass to Davis. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Davis has got eight points. He had so much space there. The defense really not showing him the respect. You can see his eyes get wide. Lee sets a screen for Curry. This is to Lee. Back to Curry. Lee kicks to Bogut. Shot clock at six. On Lowe's. Curry with another miss. He's killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Guys, Draymond Green, a second-round pick in 2012, but his tough defense and high basketball IQ have earned him minutes. He said, quote, I never cared about stats, and I still don't. My goal is to have an impact on the game. Sometimes you have the biggest impact with plays that don't show up in the stats. Those are the plays I live for. Great attitude, Kevin. A real gamer, Doris. He loves it. All right, New Orleans, your Pelicans dance team. A steal. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Here's Z. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. And, Steve, not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. Yeah, well-deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. Now, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three before that miss. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. Now, here is Holiday, averaging 12 points a game. Here's Davis. Here's Z. The second chance effort. Feeds it to Davis. Tries yet again. That's good. Davis has got four this quarter. Pretty much no chance for the smaller defender to block that jumper. Yeah, he knows exactly how to use his size to his advantage there. Iguodala against Evans. Lee trying to get open. Jaws under three and a half minutes play here in the third quarter. Warriors trail by 17. Thompson dishes to Bogut. They need this, and he gets the bucket. Bogut's got eight points. You know, with that much of a height advantage, that's exactly what you should do. Take it straight to the rim. Now, I'm taking a look at some stats here. Let's check out the numbers for Tyreek Evans. How last month turned out for him. Seven points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. Looking at those numbers, you'd probably say, yeah, that's about what we'd expect out of him. Which isn't really what any player wants to hear. I mean, you don't want to meet expectations. You want to under-promise and over-deliver. You want to exceed expectations, and maybe we'll start to see him do that shortly. Here's Evans. Andrew Bogut making his last shot. Clock is at three. Shot from the top of the key. Holiday gets the bucket. He's got six. Warriors trail by 17. Thompson outside. Shoots. 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Gordon, the pass to Z. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. What a performance. Just look at the game for Z. He's got 19 rebounds, and he's tacked on a couple of blocks today, too. Yeah, and I think uh, that's been important because it's established a nice defensive presence for his team. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Pelicans. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Ryan Anderson, who's checked in for New Orleans. That is good. Curry's got five points so far. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. And here's Holiday. Six points for him. Davis with a screen on Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. Finishes the break with a slam. Well, they need those kinds of plays right now. I mean, smart defense generating some offense. That's the way you creep back into a game. Get those key stops, push it down the floor with your transition game. So it's the Pelicans now. Z the pass to Davis. New Orleans moving it around. The kick out to Anderson. Just five to shoot. Warriors trail by 14. David Lee, very light on his feet for a big man. He played tennis until age 12, and that may have contributed to his mobility. But he can really move around the floor for a big man. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel, zero points, nada. But he's starting to get into the groove here in the second. Omer Ash, he's checked in for New Orleans. Austin Rivers comes in for Tyreek Evans. And then for Golden State, Spates comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Livingston in for Lee. Now, here's Anderson. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. The Warriors have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. And David Lee, tremendous feet and excellent hands for a big guy. Really good touch catching and finishing around the rim with either hand. He's really a adept finisher, whether off the pass or on an offensive rebound. There's the screen. Holiday, the pass to Z. Kicks to Ash. Stolen by Thompson. Rivers against Curry. The dish to Spates. All sorts of time. Rebound by Z. And for David Lee, Steve, not just valued by his team for his play on the court, but also his presence in the locker room. Yeah, a good teammate makes a big difference in the community. Those things can really help and make a big contribution to team chemistry. A good night for Rivers. He has 11 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. And Asha kicks to Rivers. Anderson outside. He feeds it to Holiday. Tries from 10, and it's New Orleans scoring again. They're playing with a purpose, guys. The big lead becoming bigger. I like the look in their eyes. And it's on both ends that they've been controlling the action. Here is Livingston. Green, the screen. Spades dishes to Green. He kicks to Spates. He sinks the 11-footer. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Rivers. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Rivers has got four points now in the quarter. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the third. Outside Curry. Spades with a screen on Rivers. Green kicks to Livingston. The feed to Curry. One second left. And no good trying to get that one. <laughs> the 
Warriors trail by 17. Man in the backcourt, it's Rivers and Gordon. Omer Ashik is out there with Anderson. And it's Z at the center position. That's the Pelicans five. Now here's Igudala. Curry kicks to Bogut. Six to shoot. Igudala against Gordon. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. First free throw is good. New Orleans making some changes here. Davis comes in for Omer Asha. And Tyreek Evans subbed in for Anderson. No good on the second free throw. Well, Andrew Bogut possesses really great size and above average athleticism, but I really think it's his basketball IQ that sets him apart. He's got outstanding instincts, especially at the defensive end of the floor. To the wing right side, takes the three. The Warriors pull it in. Spades has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Iguodala, that's a two-pointer. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Rivers with it. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. The pass to Z. He dishes it to Gordon. Iguodala with the steal. And now here comes Iguodala leading the break. Andre Iguodala, free agent going into last season. He showed a lot of patience in letting more lucrative offers lapse as he held out for the slim chance that the Warriors could clear the space to sign him. When you talk about Iguodala holding out for the Warriors, I mean, it shows just how much he wanted to be a part of this team. He felt they were one piece away, and he hoped he could be that player. And the Warriors making a change here. Lee's checked in. Warriors trail by 14. Curry passes to Iguodala. Back to Curry. Lee sets a screen for Curry. Lee up top. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And Iguodala playing two seasons ago in Denver, eliminated, ironically enough, by the Warriors in the playoffs. And Steve, he got a chance to really see the team firsthand. Yeah, no doubt. The great fans, the coaching staff, the team camaraderie, it all made an impression. And I think he saw the fit, and he thought that he could help this team accomplish great things. It seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Now here's Lee. Out to the right wing. Curry. Cuts one in from the wing. Assist goes to David Lee. And the Pelicans making a change here. Holiday's checked in. Pelicans leading by 12. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Got a piece of it. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. It's on David Lee. Davis having a terrific night. He's got 10 points and the one steal. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Warriors trail by 14. Iguodala outside. Here's Curry with the three, and he gets it to go. Boy, they have been terrific from beyond the arc here in the second half. You look at the percentages, good numbers. Just what the pharmacist prescribed. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they keep it up. And Holiday kicks to Gordon. Goes up the baseline. No good on the shot a bit long that time. The Warriors have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. No one near Curry as he lets it go. His three-pointers off the mark. Pelicans leading by 11. See the pass to Davis. New Orleans moving the ball around. Holiday dishes to Gordon. Here's Z. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Z's got 24. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. 
Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. And good on the basket. Book it. And that's 15 points for Steph Curry. Well, it's been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? After a terrible first half, he's really picking it up. Outside Gordon. On the wing, Evans. Guarded by Green. The high post shot. Evans' shot is good. And the Pelicans lead by 13. Well, you hate to see a guy suffer through a game like this, but his team is winning. Curry kicks to Lee. Back to Curry. Knocked away. It's stolen by Davis. Evans inside. Covered by Bogut. And they'll keep possession. Back to Holiday. On the wing, Gordon. There's the triple. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Clay Thompson is checked in for Andre Igudel. Gordon with a screen on Bogut. Here's Davis. And Lee pulls it down. Lee's got four rebounds now tonight. Curry passes to Green. Thompson in the corner. Here's Bogut. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Well, I guess they can get them when they need them. That's a good job of getting to the miss. Mm -hmm. Curry against Holiday to the middle. It's stolen by Curry. Into Green. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. And so he's able to get one of two. Well, Jersey advertising, an idea that had been bandied about for a long while. Last season, in lieu of that, the league tested out advertising on the court apron for the first time, as well as a small ad on the top of the backboards. So the league, of course, always looking for new revenue streams. Six on the shot clock. Evans inside, working on Lee, and it's Evans missing. He is yet to get into the flow of this game. His teammates have done their part, but they need him to pick his game up. And the wide open shot from Green. Green missing again. Pelicans leading by 10. Pass to Evans. Z, headed by Green. Evans kicks to Gordon. Holiday, the pass to Z. Now Holiday. It's stolen by Curry. Thompson outside. Pass to Lee. Lee left side. Puts up the baby hook off the left rim and up. New Orleans gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And Davis, here we go. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. You know, that turnover right there isn't typical of the performance he's turned in today. In fact, that's his only turnover of the game. He's done a really good job taking care of the ball. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Golden State. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He rallied the troops saying, nobody said it was going to be easy. They're not laying down. They're not going away. If we want this game, we have to take it from them. Kevin, plenty of fire in that speech. Thank you, Doris. Lee. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Boy, they've really won the battle of the boards in this one, Kevin. And at this point, just sort of running through the, the paces, going through the motions as it appears. It'll be a nice win here for New Orleans. This was a very efficient offense tonight. They knocked down their shots. I mean, a little luck didn't hurt either. A lot of their 50-50 shots winning the basket. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. Well, this victory now draws them even in the season series as it comes to a close. It's been a good battle between these two this year. Fitting that it ends two games to two. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Z. Well, there wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every opportunity he got. And so here is New Orleans. 
After the missed three from Stephen Curry, the shot's good from Z. Just a little bit more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate the win. Well, they can already start to celebrate, Steve, and they should. So we see the Pelicans get... Well, certainly a nice win here in this one for you. What's it going to take for you guys to keep playing at this level moving forward? Uh, it's going to take a lot more of me with the ball, that's for sure. It's easy to see how much better we are when I'm initiating things on the floor. So, I expect to be relied on heavily the best of the time. Mission accomplished tonight. Yeah, man, taking care of business. It must have been that girl I met at that restaurant on 89th. I knew I shouldn't trust her. I left my phone on the table while I was talking to a friend. She sent messages to all my clients. This is all on me, 100% my fault. He was just playing. He knew we'd never discuss another team while we're still under contract here. You gotta believe me, man. So, is that how this all went down? Just a big misunderstanding that started with a stolen cell phone? Man, I got no idea what a homeboy over here is selling about some stolen phone or some lady. But I'm gonna give it to you straight. This here is a business. All right? And I got to do what's best for me and my future. I'd be stupid not to. Now, if you want to make sure I'm here next season, I suggest you open up that checkbook of yours and get these numbers right. But if not, hey, that's fine. I'm going to ball out for you while I'm still here, while I'm under contract. But I'll find somebody that's going to pay me what I'm worth if you don't want to. Understand? Oh, I understand. We understand each other perfectly. So uh, let's just finish the season hard and... We'll see where we're at. Yeah, fine by me. And I suggest you password protect that phone of yours. Already done. <laughs> 